Welcome to a special unboxing video brought to you by IPassTheCMAExam.com. Today, we're pleased to not only give you a look at the latest GLAM textbooks, but also to share an insider analysis of GLAM's online CMA review course featuring smart adapt technology. Is GLAM's CMA review course worth it? Let's find out together. IPassTheCMAExam.com is an online community of CMA candidates dedicated to reviewing the latest in CMA prep materials on the market. Our founder, Stephanie Ng, is a published CPA exam guide author, webinar leader, CMA expert, CFO, and is highly respected in the accounting space. Under her leadership, our mission is to help you choose a CMA course that is ideal for your needs and will empower you to ace the CMA exam. For a limited time, I Pass the CMA exam is offering an exclusive discount on the GLIM CMA prep materials and online course reviewed in this video. Stay tuned for more details, or to take advantage of that offer right now, click the link in the video description below. Glime has been the industry leader in accounting exam prep for over 45 years, with over 300 universities offering Glime courses to their students. Glime has a proven track record of success, award-winning support, and an access until you pass guarantee. Glime's online course features smart adapt technology, an algorithm built to personalize the course for each student individually to strengthen your knowledge base and prepare you to pass the CMA exam. Today, I received my Glime box in the mail. Front and center, they've included a special gift, a canvas bag to carry my books when I need to study on the go. As is expected for a company as prestigious as Glime, even the quality of this bag is excellent. Under the front flap, it has pockets for me to carry pens, highlighters, post-its, etc. Glime knows CMA candidates are studying despite hectic schedules and may need to take our books with us. So I find a gift like this to be a very thoughtful gesture. Here we've got brand new editions of part one and part two of Glime's CMA review course. Part one is financial planning, performance, and analytics. Exploring the table of contents, there are 20 study units in total. Unit one is external financial statements. Units two through four are measurement, valuation, and disclosure, broken down into short-term items, long-term items, and liabilities. The rest of the study units in part one are revenue and impairment recognition, integrated reporting, cost management concepts, cost accumulation systems, cost allocation techniques, supply chain management, business process improvement, analysis, forecasting, and strategy, budgeting concepts and methodologies, budgeting, calculations, and pro forma financial statements, cost and variance measures, responsibility accounting and performance measures, internal controls, corporate governance, internal controls, controls and security measures, information systems and data governance, systems development and data analytics. With a book this robust, I personally like to use post-it flags to help make it easy for me to quickly turn to a section I've bookmarked. You can pick these up at your local office supply store. In my case, I got these at Target for under $3. Before I get to the study units themselves, I just want to bring your attention to the introduction. On pages six and seven, Glime gives solid insight into time budgeting, question answering techniques for the exam, learning from your mistakes, and how to be in control while taking the exam. And I feel that this is the type of seasoned guidance that comes with 40 plus years experience in the industry. I know many people, myself included, might be tempted to roll up our sleeves and jump right into the study units. But if you end up purchasing this book, I highly recommend you don't skip the introduction. It's beneficial, solid advice, and definitely worth a read. On to the study units. Each study unit is further broken down into three to nine subunits and is capped off with essay questions. When you complete the outline for a subunit, you'll be directed to a set of multiple choice questions to reinforce what you've just learned. This helps illustrate how that information directly translates into the type of questions you'll find on the exam. Another feature that makes this book stand out among its competitors is the number of examples it offers, which you can see as I'm flipping through, as well as clear and abundant visuals in the forms of flowcharts, tables, and graphs. Equally powerful are their step-by-step -step breakdowns like this example from study unit five. Turning to the MCQ answer key, Glime not only provides the correct answer, but also tells you what is required, offers a separate discussion of the correct answer, and a detailed breakdown of each incorrect answer to help you identify wrong answers, enabling you to eliminate them in the future. Moving on to book two, Strategic Financial Management. This book has 15 study units, which include liquidity, solvency, and leverage ratios, profitability and per share ratios, activity ratios and special issues, types of securities, financial markets and financing, valuation methods and cost of capital, working capital management, corporate restructuring, international trade and exchange rates, CVP analysis, marginal analysis, pricing analysis, 
risk management, investment decisions, ethical considerations for management, ethical considerations for the organization. As you can see, like the first book, book two contains abundant examples and visuals to help you truly absorb this material. Each unit is broken down into three to seven subunits, which are again capped off with essay questions. If we turn to the end of study unit seven on page 204, we can also see Glime includes examples of unofficial answers to the essay questions to give you a grasp on the kind of responses you'll be expected to create on the CMA exam. Beyond the core offerings of these books, the appendices contain extra features like a British and American English glossary, which will be helpful in preparing you to work with international clients, as well as the ICMA's recommended reading list of additional materials. If you need to pivot away from this video now, don't forget that ipassthecmaexam.com is offering an exclusive discount on the review books I've just discussed. To take advantage of that offer, click the link in the video description below or go to ipassthecmaexam.com slash go slash GlimeCMA. Now let's dive into the features of Glime's online course. We'll begin with CMA Part 1, Premium. First, Glime directs me to set up a study plan to keep me on schedule so I'm ready by my exam date. Then we're onto the study units. And we can see here, they correspond to the unit numbers in the physical textbooks we've just discussed. Opening study unit one, external financial statements, we're presented with several options. We can choose to read the book outline, watch videos, listen to audios, or study with flashcards. Let's preview the book outline first. After each section, I'm presented with focus questions that pertain to the material I've just studied. Upon answering, I'm immediately told if my selection was correct or incorrect. Going back to the learning tab in my dashboard, let's take a look at the videos. Over the video player is a navigation bar that will allow me to conveniently jump to the content I intend to study. There's also an outline as well and a place to take notes on the right hand side. The audios are a playlist that is user friendly and easy to navigate and the flashcards are intuitive as well. A nice feature here is that while studying each card, I can mark whether or not I feel I've mastered that card or if I still need to work on it. Onto the testing dashboard. Here I have the option to take an adaptive quiz, adaptive essay, or to work from a multiple choice test bank. The adaptive quiz uses Glam's smart adapt technology algorithm to customize the experience for me. After I'm done taking the exam, I'll be presented with my test statistics and given an opportunity to review. In this example here, I have answered incorrectly, but Glime provides a direct link to the study unit that material appears in for easy reference. If I want more granular control, the multiple choice test bank allows me to build my own custom exam. I can select from the study units I wish to pull material from, or I can choose to select all study units. I can also choose the number of questions I'd like from 1 to 100, which is very helpful if I only have time for a few questions. Lastly, Glime also offers additional tools such as a study planner, study notes archive, additional videos, and PDFs. We hope you found this video educational and helpful. If Glime's course and textbooks look like a good fit for you, don't forget to claim your discount on ipassthecmaexam.com slash go slash GlimeCMA. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more helpful content like this.